Hello and welcome to this review of Finlagen. This is the Finlagen Isla Single Malt Scotch Whiskey Old Reserve. Besides the Old Reserve, which the company told me is aged six years, I wrote them an email because I was a little bit confused, but it's aged six years. There's uh, five others that they're showing on the website at least. It says PD Isla, specially selected. And then they're showing a photograph of the what's remaining of the Finlagen Castle in, on the Isle of Isla. It's just the ruins, not much there, sort of like the uh, Spanish Fort in New Orleans. Not much left out there. Earthy, smoky peat and salty ocean breeze on the nose, it says. Pungent peat smoke, chewy sweet malt, pepper, tar, and a touch of iodine on the palate. And the finish is long and warming, smoky ashes of the peat fire. And they showed the same thing on the website description. Imported by Latitude Wines of Danville, California. 40% alcohol. I bought this at Trader Joe's and more. And uh, it was $19.99, which is a great price, I think. Okay, let's check it out. Uh, there are some video reviews for it. Not a whole lot. Distiller gives it an 82 there are reviews on uh, Google. I don't remember the score. I didn't really look at the score, but it looked like it was mostly stars and not too many empties. You know what I mean? They'll have how many stars are gold out of the five available. <clears throat> Foil cap. It's a press board cork, looks like. Meaning it's a little pieces of cork pressed together. It's not a hunk of cork, but still real cork, huh? right? And if they're upcycling the little little pieces to not waste them, we can't argue. I don't have any fin lagging glasses. I got this Glen Morangy uh, single malt scotch whiskey glass. Uh, it'll work. All right. That's a 10 year age. This is a younger, a good deal younger, four year age. All right. Never before tried it. I know there's a box for it, but when I was at Trader Joe's, they had, they had it out of the box. And I bought it, and then I went back about three months later, the same price, $19.99, when I checked last month. But I said, ah, look at these boxes. I should have gotten a box. I don't need it, though, but I like to have the full package. All right. <clears throat> Tan, like tan, light brown, okay? Can't wait to watch the video reviews. Uh, I did watch one. I shouldn't have done it because I, I don't like to watch reviews before I do the review, but I just, I, I wasn't paying attention and it was playing in a, the man gave it a malt mark. He calls it a malt mark of 87. That was the oldest one from 12 years ago, 2010. He gave it a malt mark of 87 out of 100. Good. And he paid 21 pounds for it, which is actually more than I paid when you convert. Yeah, nice, even alcohol legs. Okay. Here we go, Finlagen. So I did... At the time of this posting, the Irish whiskeys blended are done. Now we're doing single malt, and then it's on to blended scotch. Uh, uh, blended uh, single malt whiskey, scotch whiskey, and then we're going to blended scotch. And it's going to be the um, Cuddy Sark Prohibition Edition 100 proof. Okay. I prefer the 80 proofs, really, you know, lighter products, milder. There's smoke. There's peaty smoke and like a little bit of that, like you say, a compost pile, but uh, it's like a honey nose, a honey note. Honey. Oh, and this is produced for the Vintage Malt Whiskey Company Limited of Glasgow, and they have a nice website. And they were, like I said, when I asked them the question, they responded like three hours or less. And um, 
the, the ladies say, oh yeah, six years, small batch. All there, although there is no distillery at Finlagen Castle, just ruins, if you look at this photo, uh, the, this ancient home of the, quote, Lord of the Isles, unquote, lends its name to one of the island's finest malt whiskeys. So their claim is one of the finest malt whiskeys. For only $19.99, so, seems hard to believe, but uh, that's what they're saying. It's like a honey nose, honey or honey or caramel. I don't know. It's hard to say, but it's interesting. Interesting. I have Isle, another Isle of the Ardbeg 10, which was like $44.95. Does it smell like this one? No, it doesn't really at all. No. All right, taste, chills. <clears throat> it's pretty smoky. Not to the level of the other one I mentioned, but it's smoky. So that's infused throughout. It's really nice. There's peaty. There's that saltiness, a sea salt kind of like experience because my grandmother used to have a house next to the sea in Grand Isle, Louisiana. And you always had this like, you could smell the salt air. And all the vehicles down there would be rusting out. You know, just any kind of metal, it would just tear it up. Hurricane Katrina destroyed our house down there. Um, so you got the smoke, which is mild. So if you're thinking, oh, I wouldn't be able to take it, it'd be too smoky. No, it isn't. The caramel or honey, whatever that is, that like, maybe, you know what, it might be like, like you get barley juice in a beer. I call it barley juice. It's like the glutinous thing in the beer. It's kind of like that. And then uh, there's a third component. Yeah, there's wood, oak. Uh -huh. Third component. I was going to say like nectar or something, but I guess that's part of the the caramel honey nose notes, a glutinous thing. Well, it's not like, uh, oh, I can't believe it. It's so good. It, And I think I prefer that, but I got to do the blind taste test, you know, to be sure. The Ardbeg, which is 20, $25 more. But for this price, it's an all-time winner. I mean, or an all-day winner. Medium body, medium long finish. I like products like this that are unique, right? Like you say, well, it's not like all the others. Yeah, I'm glad because I, I want all the others to be different. <laughs> you know, so um, the score, they're saying 82 on uh, distiller.com. I don't know, 82, that's a B minus to me, getting close to B. I think that's too low. I'm going to say more like a... Um, a B plus, like 89 out of 100. So 8 point, now nah, let's go 8.8 .8 out of 10. Maybe a B plus for me is 88, 89. Let's go to the bottom notch of that. So 88 out of 100, a B plus, a mo, uh, <clears throat> a very, a B plus, a very good uh, single malt Isla, six year age Scotch. Um, would I like to try all their others? Sure, I'd love to, but I have to find them. I just saw it. Trader Joe's. I didn't see any other Finlagen. Now I could go. I could go there this week, and it could have two others. You know, you never know what they're gonna have in that in that store. Same thing with Cost Plus World Market. You don't know what you're gonna see in there. But you know, they don't have too much liquor. Mostly they deal with wine and beer. But they do have some kind of peculiar liquors. But uh, anyway, so uh, Laissez Le Bon Temps Relay, a very good product. And I'm gonna end this review by saying, y'all go to the island of Isla and tour the. Ruins of the Fenlagen Castle.